Good afternoon, everyone. This is Robin Carter with Robin's Creations. Well, if you watched my unboxing video, you know that I had COVID uh, tested positive last week. And I am feeling better, and I'm going to try to get through this video without coughing. I've made a few alternates to share with you. But for those of you who have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for your subscription and supporting me by doing that. If you are new to my channel, I would really appreciate you to subscribe to my channel. I'm hoping to make 1,000 subscribers by the end of September. So if you can help me do that, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and be kind in the uh, social uh, network with your comments. And let's get started. So the first thing I did was, as y'all know, this is a beautiful kit. I hope everyone <laughs> has theirs by now. And I'm so glad that they did something on the front and the back of the card bases. So right away, you can get easily... Uh, 18 cards just by cutting these in half and putting them on your own card bases. So that's what I did. And here are my alternates. So let me get started with this one. So let me get out my little envelope of supplies and take it out of the plastic sleeve so it doesn't glare too much. So this is what I made. And so what I did was I took a piece of rich Razzleberry cardstock. And so I want to show you how I'm going to make this next one with you. Is I took a piece of rich Razzleberry that was four and an eighth by uh, five and three eighths. And I cut it with the dies called Fabulous Frames dies. So I used this large frame die and you want to be very careful and center it as much as possible because I'm all thumbs here <laughs> we're going to use this thin little piece actually as our background okay and then we're going to use this on the next card so set it aside and then this uh, you can use uh, for something else but I haven't used it yet so then I took the card base and I cut it at four, is it four inches? Something like that. Let me just measure while I'm here <laughs> to make sure I'm right. I did this a few days ago. And if you've ever had COVID, you know you kind of have foggy brain too. So yes, that is four inches. So this is probably five and a quarter. And then I ran this through with one of my favorite dies called the Stitch Greenery die. Now this doesn't actually cut out anything. It puts little stitchings to look like a leaf on your background. So I hope that shows in the video. But that's what I did with that. So for this card, I need a card base. And then always check to see if one side is just a hair bigger than the other. And Looks like I'm able to lift up there. So we're going to use that as our front. And then I'm going to take this thin little piece. And because I need a little bit of wiggle room to get it centered, I'm going to use my Tombow multi-purpose glue. Now this is the green bottle tip glue. If you've watched my videos, you've seen me show the bottle before. Anyway, I just put it in a fine tip glue bottle so that I have a more precise application and I don't get too much on my projects. One thing that a lot of people do is get too much glue and then uh, it can actually puddle up your cardstock because it's wet. All right, so I'm gonna do my best to get this somewhat flat. Oops. Got a little on the outside there. If you wipe it up quickly, it won't show. So I'm going to center that just on my card. Now I'm gluey fingers. Let me rub it a little bit. <laughs> It'll come off. Okay, that needs to come down a little bit. I moved it. 
Okay, so that looks good. You can see a little border around all around. Then I'm going to glue down my stitched uh, card side on the kit. If you hear, my poor husband has come down with it now, so he's downstairs uh, resting. It's kind of interesting. We had different symptoms, so I had a sore throat for several days, and he hasn't had a sore throat at all, but he has body aches. So hopefully he'll be feeling better. I'm on day 10. So I will probably go take another home test soon. I know I've heard those home tests can be a little tricky. Now this one, I cut it a little smaller. You can see a bigger border, but I thought I would do this one a little different and you can cut it however you want to. That is not sticking there. Let me stick a little dab of glue under there. I thought I got all over. Okay. All right. So, and then I didn't, I turned this one the same direction. You can decide if you like the pink in the, this corner or that corner. And I did both on that corner. Now, here's a funny thing. Um, while I wasn't feeling very inspired, I just sat and I made tons of sunflowers and leaves. <laughs> so I said, when inspiration strikes, I will have plenty of sunflowers to use on my cards. So there's a little thing to do when you're not feeling well or not feeling inspired. Just sit and make stuff that you're going to use later. All right. So I'm, I do need two of those sunflowers. Now, I did not do the twist technique. Actually, that one might be the one that looked a little funky. So I just did the single technique and then I used watercoloring to color these flowers. Let me show you what I did. So here's one that's just stamped. There's no twisting. And then let me reach over here and get my block. I used these thin blocks that I got through Paper Pumpkin or other kits and I put a bunch of ink on it. So as you can see, I have fresh curry and now I'm going to have fresh curry fingers. <laughs> So let me wipe that off so I don't get it on my card. Just on a paper towel. And then I could also use my chamois. that's a little wet. And I keep a paper towel on top wet to help keep my pads wet because here in Texas it's warm. Although, thank goodness we're hopefully done with the 100 degree temperatures and we finally got some rain. So we were in desperate need of rain. Just little side tidbits. So I'm going to use my silicone mat just so if I get it on my desk, I can wipe it up. And here is a watercolor brush, a uh, water painter. And so let's see, that one I might have used brown on. This one looks like my yellow one, maybe. All the tips are a little stained, so let me do it off a piece of scrap paper to see if there's any color. Okay, there's no color coming off on that. So I fill mine with 91% alcohol instead of water because I want it to dry faster. And um, this is just regular white paper. It's not thick. It's not watercolor paper. It's just regular. So... I've left that on my block for a couple days, so it's kind of dry, but I keep alcohol in the spray bottle, and I'm going to reactivate it like that, and then I'm going to swoop my watercolor brush all around, and so this is just fast and easy way to color, and if you want darker, you go back and pick up more, so I kind of sloppily do it to start with, just all around. And then you can be more careful going up into the tips after you get that. But this was the fastest way I found to color them. I think I did a few with my watercolor pencils and that does work. Just takes a little longer, especially if you're gonna blend it later. 
So this is what I did to color all my flowers. I did the same thing for my leaves, but I won't have to take the time to show you that. Same technique. Okay, so you just work quickly and the alcohol dries fairly quickly. And the more you do, you'll have to reactivate that because your alcohol dries on that. But I found you can use the same block over and over and just reactivate it with uh, either spraying alcohol or dripping a few drops there. Let me get my colorful paper towel here <laughs> and just take some ink off that and find my lid and we'll set that aside. But that's what I did for all my sunflowers. I did the same thing with the soft suede ink to color in the center. And then on these, I did a little Wink of Stella in the center of the flower. So I can set this one aside, let it completely dry and use it on another project because I have made a ton already. So, on this one, I decided to use my bow punch to punch out some leaves rather than use the leaf stamp and color it with this card. So I believe I have those already punched out. This was in Mossy Meadow. And so what I wanted was one flower kind of on top of the other. And I wonder if I do these in different directions if I like that. So I kind of first sat down my leaves to get them how I like them. Now let's just do it the same way. That way I'll have a spot down here for a sentiment. All right, so let's go ahead and glue that down. So for the leaves, I actually find just getting a piece of scotch tape and putting those in the center over the top so they don't move. And then you can use glue dots or little dots of glue. Where's my Tombow? To stick them down. That's just a trick I do so they don't move all around. And I know I kind of have them where I want them. So first just do a little piece of scotch tape to hold them in place. Now you could remove that if you wanted to, but um, I'm going to leave it there. The flowers are going to cover it, so nothing to worry about there. So I'm going to glue one down straight. Actually, I'm going to leave, I've, I've kind of curled the ends of the leaves as well. So I'm just going to put glue in the center of my sunflower. And I'm going to put this one down flat. And then this one I'm going to put on dimensionals. So you just need some more mini dimensionals, but I want a big one. Let me find my stash of goods over here. Okay, and I'm going to put a big dimensional in the center of him. And then put him overlapping a little bit like that. Now, um, for your labels, you will run out of labels if you use all from the kit, but I took one and traced it, and then I used uh, my blending brushes to make a colorful label here. So, um, this stamp is actually from the on the Horizon Paper Pumpkin Kit that says, I will always be here for you. I just found I needed a few more cards like that, so I used that sentiment. Um, I'm gonna leave this one blank for now because I find it's sometimes easier to do your sentiments afterwards. I was trying to find my um, envelope of labels, so I made a lot of those as well. Um, I traced it and then I put it in my scan and cut and made some. I love my scan and cut. It helps me do a lot of things faster as far as cutting and whatnot. And I use that as well to do my 
um, sunflowers. So that's my first alternate for you today. I just need to finish with a sentiment and then I put some pearls on these. And by the way, you know your pearls, if you have the alcohol blends markers, you can color those uh, any color that you have a marker in. So there's just a tip if you want them a little more colorful. And then on the envelope, I put the sunflower as well. So this one's done, I'm gonna put it back in its little sleeve. Okay, so there is alternate number one for me. I hope that inspires you to do something with your opposite sides of your cards. Here is my second one. So I showed you with the first card how I cut out that with the Fabulous Frames die. It has stitching and a little embossing. It's very subtle. I don't know if that's showing, but I think it gives it a little more interest. So where's my envelope of goods for this part? Here it is. So I have a card base and let me feel for the bigger side. I think it's actually that side. And then here is the base that came with the kit. I wonder if this one could go vertical. I'm actually gonna stamp that. Here's a label that they gave us. Now the hive they gave us, they gave us six, and now I have a yellow finger. And I cut this one in half. So I'm gonna use my other half on this card. I used one half on this card. And I'm gonna leave my B in there so he doesn't get lost. But I'm gonna bring out my Stamparatus because that's where my sunflower is on a plate. So here's my little template that I stick the ones that I cut. And oops, I think I'm gonna use that as well. It won't fit exactly, but that's okay. And when I stuck these in here, I kind of looked for these little teeth. And this one is smaller on purpose, but that's okay. So I'm going to put an ink pad there to give it some height. I'm going to use my big crushed curry just to make it go by quickly. The inking. Now, I sometimes had a hard time getting ink on the center. But I found that once you do the soft suede center, it covered it up if you got some. So I'm gonna give that a second for the ink to soak in. Okay. And this is the one that came with our kit. So now, rather than turn my stamp, I'm gonna turn the uh, sunflower. Let me see if that's about in the center still. Okay, so now I'm gonna ink it up again. But I do this one the way they suggest we do it. And just make sure it's inked well. And hopefully it's still in the center. So that's how they suggest we do our sunflowers. So it gives it a lot fuller of a look. And then I have my center on just a regular block. And I'm gonna do my soft suede. Now, if you were making more of these and rather than watercoloring, you could take some of your white paper and use a blending brush and give it some color like it looks like this one is. All right, I'm gonna have to hang right over the center Try to get that like I like it. And there we go. So this one I made like the kit suggested, so we're gonna use it on this card. Close up my inks. Try not to get inky fingers. And then this is what also I use my paper towel for, is to get excess ink off just by blotting it. And then I use my chamois. So now that I have this technique, I'm tempted to get a new chamois so it doesn't look so, so well used, but they still work. So I've been spending my money getting new stuff rather than something I already have. All right, so here's our sunflower. Looks like I didn't get it all, it's still yellow. 
Sorry, let me do that again. Okay, hopefully that got it all. It could just be stained yellow, which it probably is. I've made lots of sunflowers. All right, so here's this card. I think I still like it to the side because of the sentiment and everything. So I just glued this flat down on the card. I have trimmed it. Where's my trusty little ruler? I trimmed it to four at uh, four by five and a quarter on this one as well. And when you're trimming, where's the card space? So when you trim, you can decide which uh, part you want to trim off. I did it here because there was a lot more white and I didn't want to lose any of this coloring. And same thing here, I took the bulk of it off here and then on this side so I didn't lose as much coloring. So just be mindful of that if you're going to cut your envelopes, or not your envelopes, your card bases apart. And let's get my Tombow liquid glue. I'm hoping to make it through this without coughing or having to drippy nose. I was going to make this video yesterday and I just got wore out again yesterday. So I'm feeling a little more energetic today, which is good. All right, and I give that a rub to get the liquid glue all around rather than in blobs. And now for the frame. So I wanted the frame to stand up a little. So I got out my dimensionals. And if you've seen me on the big ones, I cut them in half. And I just like the size of these for doing this. So do one in the, each corner. And if I didn't say so, this was rich Razzleberry cardstock. Okay, and then I'm going to put a few around the sides for support. And one more. Oh, two more. One here. And one here. My little bucket of goods there. I'll just set these little pieces to the side for now. I guess I could have put these on ahead of time, but I did not. Okay, and then I just kind of touch each one to make sure I have it off. And then same thing, you want to Get sort of over the center of your card. And then when you find a good spot, just set it down gently. All right, so there we go. And we're gonna take this sunflower that we made. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. Ah, oh, let me see if I can do it with this in here. So in your stamp set, you also have this little sprig. So I wanted to add a little more uh, leaf detail here. Let me see if I can pick this side up. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> I gotta hold that up. And then I used Mossy Meadow ink. I knew I'd forget that. And this time I want it to go down the side. And I'm gonna do, got my finger in it. Some out this way, and one more down this way, just to give a little more leaves. There we go. And boy, I got it all over on that one. So it's a good thing you have your paper towel because you won't ink up your chamois quite as easily. Okay, so that's a nice little leaf that they gave us here. All right, and then do I want to wink a Stella? Let's wink a Stella. 
And then I'll tell you what I do on my Wink Estella. I like to get it going because I sometimes squeeze too hard and then I get a big blob of Wink Estella. I think that got it going. And I did not want a big blob. So that's how you avoid that. And let's see, this one I glued down flat. Maybe I want this flower raised as well, like the frame. I'm gonna get one big dimensional. Oh, it's not sticking because it's still kind of wet. All right, and then let's stick this sunflower down here. So I do like this one, it's a little smaller, so you can see more of the beautiful card the way it was intended. Now, if you want to bend your leaves, could have done that ahead of time with my bone folder, but that works as well. And so this is a label from the kit, and this is the one I made with a blending brush. This one, of course, is a little more detailed. And, you know, my sentiment that I like is wishing you so much happiness is what, if you only have this kit, that's what I would use here. But I need another one of these, I will always be here for you type cards. So I used Evening Evergreen on it. Such a dark green that it's, it's um, a good neutral. And I wanted it to stand out well. Put it on a big block. Oop, and I need my Stamp and Pierce mat for photopolymer. Something I'm gonna have to stand over again. And hopefully I did that good. Looks good. And then let me clean the stamp. So I hope you look through your um, stamps and past paper pumpkin kits and utilize the stamps for other kits that you may get so that you have the sentiment that you need a card for. All right, so this, of course, I'm putting on dimensionals. Those in my class know I love dimensionals, and uh, if you're subscribed to my channel, I'm sure you've seen me use dimensionals often. I need to cut some more. All right, and since this is gonna go on the raised panel, I'm just gonna put it on the left-hand side here, and then I'm gonna put a dab of glue on the frame. That way I don't have to guess. And I'm gonna let this hang off a little bit. And of course I need to take off the backing <laughs> so that that'll stick. I think I still have foggy brain. Okay, oops, I forgot the, um, the little hive piece, <coughs> excuse me for coughing. And I'm gonna stick that there. Now I should have, oh, that's good. It still comes up. So there, I'm letting my dimensional hold it. And over here, let's see. I guess I'll use a piece of a dimensional, the small one. Here to hold this side, this part of the hive down. And so that way my flower covers up the dimensional. So again, I think that's fine. I did cut it in half to try to get the most out of my dimensionals. And then we need the little bee. These bees were pretty realistic looking. I found it interesting how they did that. So I need another dimensional shocker. Let's see, I may need a mini for him. Let's go back to my little bucket. Get a mini. And get him going the right way. It's kind of hard to tell. 
but I guess I did this one this way. I'm going to put them on the hive between the flowers. Oh, and that is crooked. Okay, <laughs> that would have drove me crazy. Um, good thing this liquid was still a little wet, so I was able to move it. Okay, so here are my first alternates. I do have others to show you, but don't want to take up too much of your time in one day. So I just have to add pearls to this. Let me know what you think about that as an alternate. And then the stitch greenery card that I made. Again, I just have to add pearls and a sentiment for this one. So thanks for joining me today. And I will be posting more alternates as the uh, time allows for this kit. And thank goodness for Labor Day weekend that pushed our my local people's class pushed it a week and I need that week because I was ill <laughs> so it gives me a little more time to come up with everything to use this whole kit so again if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so and thanks for joining me today I look forward to sharing more uh, in the next coming days have a good day